As we raised our Cornish Cross meat chickens this year, I kept close track of everything that happened. We had a couple of people asking us about the experience. You know, was it really worth it? I mean, would you have been ahead just to go buy some from a farmer? So I documented the whole experience and what it cost and what we ended up with at the end. And I'm going to go through that right now, so if anybody's interested, they'll have a good idea of what can happen. So on June 1st, we picked up 25 Cornish Cross chicks and one 50-pound bag of medicated chick starter. And that ended up at lasting three weeks for that one bag. Within 12 hours, one of the little chicks died. I don't think it ever ate anything. I dumped all their beaks in water, so they were drinking a little bit. But one died within 12 hours. And there was another one looking sickly and weak. And that one died the next day. I'm not quite sure what the problem was with that. But that's what happened. When they were three weeks old, we moved them outside into a chicken tractor, and that's the way we were going to raise them until it was time to butcher. And I started them on some 18% protein broiler feed that we've got from the local mill here. The chick starter was 18% too, so we just continued with that, except this stuff wasn't medicated. And I looked at the ingredients, and most of it was milled corn and milled soybeans. So that's pretty much what they were eating. On July 2nd, I found one chicken that wasn't eating anymore. And it looked kind of weak and a little bit sickly. And then the next day I found it dead. Don't know what happened to that one. Didn't look like it was wounded or anything, but that's what happened. On July 15th, we weighed three of the chickens just to see how they were growing. One of them weighed 4 pounds 10 ounces, one weighed 5 pounds 3 ounces, and one weighed 6 pounds 1 ounce. So they were growing pretty good, and they were a little different, but they were growing good. And on that day we also switched to 21% protein growing feed. The chickens were starting to look pretty big, so we decided we were going to do like a trial run butcher of maybe butchering four to see how everything went and what we would need to change before we butchered the rest of them. So we separated four chickens off from the other ones and we weighed them to see what they were at that time, and they weighed between seven and a half, eight pounds. And then on the 25th of July, we butchered those four chickens. And after we butchered those four chickens, we decided we needed to change little things to speed it up a little bit because we were carrying boiling water from in the house and dumping it in a bucket outside. So we bought a turkey fryer for when we butchered the rest of them. And then on the 29th of July, we butchered the rest of them. We had 18 left. So we butchered 22 chickens altogether. So this is number four. It's almost nine o'clock. So you know, we we'll leave about four. dunking it next one. After we had the chickens uh, butchered and bagged up, we weighed them all to see what we came up with for our total. We came up with a total of 128.13 pounds. And the total cost for the chickens 
was $158.73. That was for the chickens and the chicken feed. We bought 25 chicks at $1.75 a piece for $43.75 total just for the chickens. We went through one bag of medicated chick starter that cost us $21. We went through three 50 pound bags of 18% protein broiler feed that was $50.85. And we went through two and a half bags of 21% protein broiler feed and that was $43.12. We still got half a bag left and I'm just feeding that to our our laying hands, I'm just mixing in with their feet so it's not going to waste. So we divided that up and we came up with $1.24 a pound for processed chicken. Around here I heard you could buy processed chicken off a farm for maybe $3 a pound to $5 a pound at a farmer's market. So I think we did pretty good cost wise. We just had to do the work. We butchered it ourselves and we had to raise them. It didn't take a whole lot of time. It took some time in the morning and a little bit of time in the evening just to you know, change out their feed and water. But we plan on doing it again because it ends up with some pretty good chicken. It just takes a little bit of time. So I hope this video was helpful to anybody out there who's wondering what it really costs and what can really happen. I've heard that it's pretty common to lose 10% of your chickens from death before they're ready to butcher. So we kind of right in the ballpark there. Hopefully next year maybe you can do a little better. It'd be nice if we could buy 25 chicks and then butcher 25, but that isn't the way it happened. So anyway, that's the whole story and the total cost. Thanks for watching.